Seismologists say the conditions that caused the devastating earthquake in Haiti do not exist in Hawaii. But the Hawaiian islands are prone to quakes of a different kind. KITV 4's Jody Leong got a quick lesson from a seismologist tonight, and she joins us live with her report. Jody? Paula, Hawaii's last major earthquake happened off the Big Island coast in October of 2006. It was a magnitude 6.7, just slightly smaller than the seven magnitude quake that struck Haiti. But the Haiti earthquake caused mass destruction and killed thousands of people. Seismologist Gerard Fryer used foam pads to show us how the quake struck on a fault with Port-au-Prince right there. Basically, this block, this is the fault, and this block is moving like that. And the two blocks stick together, and every time they give, that's an earthquake. The two blocks are shifting because North and South America are slowly moving toward each other. And the stuff in the middle is squeezing out of the way. So that's why there is this fault here. Millions of years from now, the Caribbean will be squeezed out and closed up. But another reason for the major devastation, the quake struck only three miles deep. This one caused an exceptional amount of damage because the, the initial break was very, very shallow. And it also produced uh, a lot of high-frequency energy. Very, very severe shaking combined with poor construction. The Hawaiian Islands will not see this sort of quake, but there was a much different kind of quake off the Big Island coast back in 2006. Basically because the earth is creaking and groaning underneath the weight of the Hawaiian Islands, you get cracks forming in the bottom and motion across those cracks. The 6.7 magnitude quake was slightly weaker than Hades, but the damage caused was significantly less. But a very different kind of earthquake, and fortunately it was deep. There was no very severe shaking at the surface. But the islands are also prone to a much more dangerous type of earthquake called basal slip. That happens when a volcano tends to ooze out sideways. Rift zones fill up with magma and create outward pressure. The whole volcano will slide outwards over the seafloor. You have slipping on that surface, a huge amount of interaction, very large earthquakes. But Fryer says volcanic rock is weak with many cracks. So the shaking energy, the seismic energy um, is absorbed and scattered very quickly. So that very strong shaking is felt over only a tiny little area, right, right where the break first happens. Now, that kind of quake happened off the south coast of the Kilauea volcano back in 1975. It produced a tsunami that killed two people. Fire says the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is installing 15 to 18 seismometers around the state at about a cost of a million dollars. The instruments will allow scientists to issue warnings within two minutes of a quake when they are completely installed in about six months. Reporting live, Jody Leon, KITV4, Island Television News.